There's one. What's up, everyone? Dylan here with Fish Ranch, Bellwater. Today I have Matthew with me, and we're fishing the South Branch Cadores Creek. We're kind of way up here, top of it, um, outside the stocking area. So we're going fishing wild browns. There's usually a bunch of suckers and creek chubs in here as well. But um, it's always nice to come up here. I haven't been up here in probably a year or two. And it's a nice change of scenery, and down here in the mountains and everything that looks very really pretty. So we're kind of in the urban area right now, in the middle of the city, or town, I guess you call it. But once you get down here a little bit farther, it's real pretty and you get between the valleys. So um, hope you enjoy and I'll see you when you get there. There's one. Okay. Yeah. Go brownie. Come on. Come here. Pretty fish. Pretty little brown there. Oh, great to oh, Gosh, it can do it. Oh, down there. I'll tell you one thing, these did not work for sealing my waders. Really? Yeah. Yeah, man, it went cool. That's a fucking, that's probably where hips right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Great job, What'd you get? Nice. Prana, pranas. Oh, well, quick job. There's one. Trout. Okay. Guy. Oh my god, look at the colors on this one, Matt. Look at that beautiful that thing is. Oh, yeah. Alright everyone. We are headed back to the truck. Yes, I am carrying my waders because my waders are loaded with water and it was so heavy. It's actually lighter doing this than it is going back to the creek. And it's not that far walk from the road. The creek's much from the road. But we had a hell of a day. We missed a lot of fish. We caught a lot of fish. Tons of creek chubs, suckers we saw in there. Uh, we caught a lot of trout. I caught that, sorry. At the end there, I hooked that brookie, which is really weird because they don't stock this creek till, oh my gosh, 
miles downstream. Um, I still am not sure where it came from, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Caught a bunch of browns, missed a lot of browns. But all in all, I love this place to fish. It's very scenic. You can see we're down here in the mountains. I've been down here for probably three or four years. It's always fun coming down here. I hope you can hear this. If not, <laughs> oh well. But yeah, we had a great time. Me and Matt each caught a bunch of fish. I was using a fat fry on a 32nd, 64th ounce shade to begin with. I was catching fish, missed a lot of creek chubs, catching some creek chubs. Matt was using, using, using yeah, he was using a hair jig, using an inline spinner. Uh, he used some cut bait from a creek chub, which really turned the fish on. A lot of different fish with that. And uh, we used the jerk baits at the end here, and that really turned the fish on. The fish really like the jerk baits. Um, but yeah, what a great day we had, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and thanks again. This video is brought to you by Bill Foster Films LLC, contraband baits, only bait slab certified, bow tie jigs, great bait, equal big fish, natural forage baits, relax, breathe, fish natural, WE Sales Sporting Goods, Moses Family Jerky, take home, made anywhere, kicking bass, fish attractants, just use it, Denali Rods, tournament tested, tournament tough, Vicious fishing, get vicious. Biker gear, silence is deadly. Wu tungsten, fishing is a contact sport. Amphibia eye gear, cause earth is mostly water.